This is part 87 of ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss obtrusive and unobtrusive JavaScript. If you have been following along with this ASP.NET MVC tutorial, to enable client-side validation in an ASP.NET MVC application, we need to turn on two keys within the web.config file. We need to set client validation enabled to true and unobtrusive JavaScript enabled to true. So first, let's understand what we mean by unobtrusive JavaScript. First, let's look at an example that uses obtrusive JavaScript and we'll see how to convert that obtrusive JavaScript to an unobtrusive JavaScript. When we navigate to this edit view, notice that we have a save button here. Now, let's say for example, when I move my mouse over this save button, I want to change the background color of the button to red. And when I move the mouse away from that button, we want the color to be gray. Let's see how to achieve that using obtrusive JavaScript. So let's flip to Visual Studio. Let's open up this edit view. And then we are going to write some JavaScript code. So let's include a script tag, set the type equals text slash JavaScript and language to JavaScript. So we're going to write some JavaScript here. So I'm going to write a function. You can give it any meaningful function name. I'm going to call this mouse over. And then to this function, I'm going to pass a control ID. So what is this function going to do? It's going to find the control um, which has got that ID. And to find that control, I'm going to use this method um, get element by ID. And I'm going to pass it the control ID. And obviously, this get element by ID function is going to return a reference for that control. So I'm going to store that in a variable called maybe control. And what we need to do here is to set the background attribute, I mean background color for the control. So um, control.style.background color equals, let's say for example, I want to set it to red color. Okay, similarly, I'm going to have another function. And let's call this maybe mouse out. And let's set the color to gray. All right, the next step is to, you know, invoke this functions. So let's navigate to the submit button on mouse over. So when that event happens, what do we want to do? We want to invoke our mouse over function. So let's copy the name mouse over and we need to pass the ID of the control. Okay, so let's invoke this function here. So we need to pass the ID of this control. So let's include an ID. Maybe let's call this btn submit. And let's pass this ID to this function. And similarly, on mouse out, when this even happens, we want to invoke our mouse out function. So let me copy this. And let's change the name of the function to mouse out. All right, let's save everything. Let's go back to our edit view and reload this. All right, look at this. When I mouse over, we have the red color. As I move away, we have gray color. But then the JavaScript that is present here is obtrusive JavaScript. Look at this. This JavaScript code is now intermingled with the HTML markup that we have. So the structure of our website, I mean the HTML markup and the behavior, um, you know, both of them are intermingled. Let's see how to convert this obtrusive JavaScript into an unobtrusive JavaScript. Okay, first of all, the first step is to add a JavaScript file. So let's add a new item. Let's add a JScript file. And let's call this maybe custom JavaScript. You can give it any meaningful name you want. And then within this JavaScript code, uh, I mean JavaScript file, we are going to write some JavaScript code. Uh, we're going to convert this JavaScript code, this obtrusive JavaScript, into unobtrusive JavaScript. And we're going to make use of jQuery for that purpose. 
okay so we're gonna write some jQuery code here so let me drag and drop this jQuery file all right so dollar function so what do we want to do we want to find a control that has got an ID of BTN submit okay in jQuery the ID selector is pound symbol so let's include the pound symbol and the ID of the control is BTN submit so find that control and then once you find that control on I mean mouse over so when this event occurs what we want to do we want to execute another function okay so what do we want to do basically we want to change the background color of this button so button submit dot I am going to use CSS function for that and we can specify any CSS property um, style that we want for example I want to change here background color so background color I want to set that to red okay so let's make a copy of this one similarly um, when mouse out event happens what do we want to do we want to change the background color to gray okay so we have included some JavaScript code here I mean jQuery code basically um, that's present in an external file right now look at that we have separated the JavaScript okay so obviously you know find this control and then when mouse over event happens change the background color to red and similarly for this control when mouse out event happens change the background color to gray okay so the behavior is present in this JavaScript file now alright now the next step is to actually reference this J JavaScript file within our edit view so let's go back to the edit view and then drag and drop this custom JavaScript file and let's change this to use the tilde syntax so tilde indicates the root directory of the project within the root directory we have scripts folder and then we have custom JavaScript and that's what this path says alright so since we have you know the JavaScript code now present in a separate file you know we can get rid of this JavaScript code that's present within the view so let's go ahead and delete this and we can also delete whatever code we have here look at this here we are hooking up the function with its event we can get rid of this as well all right so let's save this let's go back to our view and reload this and the behavior should be the same on mouse over red color on mouse out we have gray color but then look at this on our view now we don't have any traces of JavaScript it's clean HTML markup all our JavaScript now is present in a separate um, JavaScript file so what is unobtrusive JavaScript unobtrusive JavaScript is a JavaScript that's present from the I mean that is separated from the websites HTML markup so this unobtrusive JavaScript resides in its own file so basically we are separating the structure of our website from its behavior the HTML markup is present in your view the JavaScript which represents the client-side behavior is present in a separate file and what are the advantages of using unobtrusive JavaScript there are several of them the first one is obviously separations of uh, concerns that is the HTML markup now is clean without any traces of JavaScript on that view obviously this means page loads faster it is also easy to update the JavaScript code as all the JavaScript logic is now present in a separate file and we also get better caching support because all the JavaScript is present in a separate file which can be cached and accessed much faster on this slide you can find a link um, to YouTube playlist where you can find C sharp ADO.net ASP.net SQL Server and MVC playlist in these playlists all the videos are arranged in a logical sequence which could be useful to you that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day